Did a piece just fall off of that? Uh. I'm not buying that. Something <laughs> just fell off of this bike. Well, the thing I worry about this one is see kind of how it sways back and forth. So if yeah, the weight on that thing, you don't want that thing. Swaying. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. But I may have a different idea. I think we're gonna grab one of these. Here's our 10 foot piece of Unistrut. And we got a couple of other parts to go along with the set. This is a Unistrut holder and it simply is gonna go just like this in place. So we also have these bearings here with a tab. This is gonna allow us to mount our piece of plywood to these sliders. The sliders are then gonna go in place just like so. And this is gonna allow our tool wall to slide. Now, all of these parts were not readily available at the hardware store. So we're gonna leave a link in the description below with everything that you need so you can build one of these too. Tape measure, tape measure, tape measure. Ashley, where's the tape measure? Oh my God. <laughs> All right, so we've got all of the paint on the pieces of plywood. We also love how the logo came out. So now it's time to accessorize this board. And we've got tons of different things that we're gonna mount onto here, basically to get all of our tools out of that toolbox and up onto this sliding wall. Plus we'll also take anything left over and place it on the wall behind. Am I the only one <laughs> 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 Oh my gosh.
All right, we finally finished up the sliding tool wall. Before we actually show you how well it works, there are a couple of things that we wanna point out. First is make sure that your piece of plywood is measured correctly from the top to the bottom. Initially, the cut was pretty precise and it ended up getting stuck in the corner as we were testing it out. So we went back and shaved off another inch from the bottom. The second thing is you're gonna wanna make sure that the actual clearance on the top where you mount the actual sliding rail to the plywood, you're taking into the account the actual unistrut. The unistrut does protrude a little bit and so you wanna make sure you get good measurement. I unfortunately had to punch another hole to get that just right. And then the third thing is you wanna make sure that the top of the unistrut is mounted pretty solid on the other end. If not, if you have this tool wall over to the opposite end, it's gonna act like a teeter-totter and we'll start bouncing on you. Let's just give a really quick cost breakdown. The pieces of plywood we're using are three quarter inch pieces of plywood. Those are about 50 bucks or so and we have three of them. One in the front, two in the back, so we're about 150 bucks. All the accessories for the Unistrut is about another 50 bucks. You're at 200 bucks plus you need the actual Unistrut piece itself. So you're around 230. And then we have all these different accessories that we put on and the price can range depending on your preference. And so you're looking at maybe 300 to $350, which I think we prefer spending it on this versus like something else, right, Ashley? Yes, we do. <laughs> And so Ashley, what's your favorite item or maybe your least favorite item that we put on the wall? Okay, so my favorite item is actually the cheapest thing that's on here. The magnetic strips that are $5 at Harbor Freight are my favorite because almost all your tools are metal as well as holding sockets. And I thought that they work best for that and they're cheap. So you can put a bunch of them on at once. My least favorite thing was also from Harbor Freight and that was a plastic pegboard that came with bins and that just wasn't sturdy enough to hold anything that we would be putting in it. And one of my favorite things is down below, but basically it's something that I 3D printed to allow our packouts to be put onto the wall and take them off the wall and head out to the track in a fairly organized manner. So with that drum roll, brrr, Slide it on over. This thing is freaking awesome. <laughs> and with that, if you like this and you enjoy our content, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.